lleno de respeto y su atención a las personas que vamos a reconocer esta noche. Han sido luchadores en el campo, de social activism, doing all kinds of things in their lives to get us where we are today as a community, opening doors for all of us, especially for young people like yourselves. So please join me as we move into this program and listen up and uh, see who we're recognizing and why. Okay? young people in the dance floor, so I'm going to be very quick. <laughs> when you grow up, and Luis Miranda is your father, there are two Santa Clauses. There's white Santa Claus down at Macy's, and you take a nice picture with you and your sister. And then there's Dominican Santa Claus at the Dominican Women's Center on 176th Street. When you are Luis Miranda's son, you do not spend Three Kings Day just gathering pasto for the Three Kings. You also spend it at the radio station. If anything you can do alone, you take that with you to every other aspect of your life. When you're Luis Miranda's son and it's your turn to go off to college, you will watch your parents go from nonprofit to getting job after job after job to give you the gift of a higher education. You will never forget that sacrifice. <laughs> Even though you're a theater major. <laughs> go, well, I'm Luis Miranda's son, so I better write a billion fucking plays while I'm here. <laughs> when you are Luis Miranda's son and you see that there's not a lot of roles for Puerto Ricans, you go, well, we better start writing them and creating our own opportunities. Yeah. the heights this summer. There's a moment in the song Breathe and you'll see Luis Miranda and his wife, my mom, singing Welcome Home. So watch out for that. When you are Luis Miranda's son and you find out that he's getting a lifetime achievement for his decades of service, beginning with school boards in Washington Heights, and now this year working with Voto Latino to try to get as many Latinos out to vote because it has never been more important than this year. When you find out he's getting that award, you drop everything and you come to Chicago. Just talk to the young people for a second. You're everything. We look to you now. You're gonna lead us. And part of what this conference is about is you finding that tribe, you finding the people that you believe in and who believe in you, and start building a future we can't even imagine yet. I have such faith in that, seeing all of you here today. And uh, I'm very proud to be Luis Miranda's son, ladies and gentlemen, Luis Miranda.
I had a heart attack two and a half years ago, so I figured something wrong, and he said, I don't know, Juan Andrade. I said, okay, good. <laughs> and then I realized that you get a Lifetime Achievement Award when you can remember typing a letter on a typewriter <laughs> and sending it to your family in Puerto Rico and waiting for a letter back to hear news. And then you get a Lifetime Achievement Award when you graduate to a computer that still has no internet capacity, but now you could actually type and you can correct on that computer. Life continues to change. And most of you are going to grow into this world that God knows how you can communicate. But I do know that right now, all of you can hashtag and create movements and create social change just by sitting with your fingers. But you gotta do more than that. And that's what this organization is all about. You have to hashtag and you have to create that social movement, but you also have to go to the streets to organize our communities. So, when you get a Lifetime Achievement Award, you are reminded that what I thought was gonna be done in my lifetime, it's not. And it's really now up to all of you to make sure that it ends with your generation and that your kids don't have to go through all of the social illnesses that we all have been going through now for centuries in this country. So, when you get a Lifetime Achievement Award, you make sure that your entire family is here. My son-in-law, Luis, my grandchildren, and my wife for a lifetime lose. Because you don't do this alone. I remember when I finished my job with the mayor's office in New York in the late 80s, that I got home and I had not noticed that Luz had painted the living room and the dining room another color and I hated it. <laughs> and she was like, you were saving the world and I didn't like the color. So you stay with the color and move on because our job has to be partnership and we have to work together. So, one, thank you for this award. All of you, thank you for being here. I cannot think of someone more deserving to share this with than Nelson Diaz, who also I know for a very long time. with all of you and my family. Thank you for a wonderful night.